Hi, my name is Barbara DeMush and I'm the owner of Package Perfect. Today I'm going to show you how to make a unique floral heart topiary wedding centerpiece. The supplies you're going to need for today's project are a terracotta pot and a piece of floral foam or styrofoam, sticks from your garden or you can also use a dowel rod, a photo, a piece of cardboard, two dimensional floral hearts with a cutout center, pearl beads, paper clips, and tool ribbon in the color of your choice. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the piece of scrap cardboard and we're either going to spray it with a spray adhesive or you can also use a watered down glue. We're then going to take the photo be sure to smooth it out flat to remove any air bubbles. And then you're going to apply the same photo to the other side. Our next step is to prepare the hearts so that we can insert the photo. The hearts that I'm using today can be found on our website or you can use similar ones found in your local hobby or craft store. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove some of the roses from the inside of the heart so that the photo will be visible once the centerpiece is complete. To do so, gently remove the hearts from the styrofoam and work your way around the heart. If they don't come out easily, you can take a pair of wire cutters and snip them off at the base. I've now taken the photo that was applied to the cardboard and sandwiched it in between the two hearts. I used some cool melt glue to hold it together. Next we're going to cover up the gap where the two hearts were glued together. And yes, this is where we're going to use the roses that were removed from the inside of the heart. Again, I'm going to use my cool melt glue and run a lot line of glue around the edge of the heart and then insert the roses where the gap needs to be covered. Our roses have now filled in the gap all the way around and we've now gone from a flat-sided one-dimensional heart to a 3D heart that will be the focal point of our centerpiece. For the base of the centerpiece I'm going to use natural twigs that I just got out of the garden. You could also use a dowel rod if you prefer. I'm going to start with a center stick that should be fairly straight although we know that most things in nature are not straight. And from there, I'm going to work my way around with other stocks until I get the desired shape I want. Clipping the sticks off as I go so that I end up with them all at about the same height. We're going to continue working around the pot. And since I like things in odd numbers, I think we're going to use five sticks for the centerpiece. Okay, so one more and that will give us five. And it's almost like you're building a teepee. So now we're going to stop here and we're going to wire the sticks together at the top. I've now added my heart to the top of this twig base and then we're going to go on to our final step to cover the foam on top of the pot. We're going to use tool to cover the foam or you could use whatever else you would prefer. You could use real moss, florist moss, paper shred, whatever you want to use. But for this purpose I'm going to use my tool and I'm going to go around the pot working the tool into all the crevices until we get a pretty face and all of the foam is covered. In the final step of this project we're, you're probably wondering what we're going to use the paper clips for. Well, 
We're going to use them with the pearl beads, which can then be used to secure our tool into place. To do so, we're going to take each paper clip, unfold it, and cut it in half with your wire cutters. Obviously, you'll have one piece that's larger than the other, but this is not going to matter for this project. I'm then going to take my pearl beads, and these particular beads have an eye loop on top, and then I'm going to thread them through the paper clip, and then use those on top of the tool to secure everything into place. We've now completed this project, so let's go take a look to see what it looks like on the table.